Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming bar to the second round. If you have exam today or within very few days and if you have questions like can you share the latest questions with answers and is this a physical or virtual round and are we allowed to write the code in python or cpp then let me discuss all of these answers in this video. Just before that guys please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding virtusa or any company that i want and like this video comment down which content do you want more okay now let me discuss the question are you allowed to write the code in python or cpp the answer is no probably most probably 99 percent probably you will get only java okay you will get only java so be prepared for that okay and next question is physical or virtual the answer is virtual why because if you are 2025 batch so they don't want you to come to their campus and give the exam okay so if you are from 2026 batch only you will be having the round physical okay now the next question which i have been getting a lot from you guys that is why i have not received this mail and why few people are receiving the second round mail let me just tell you it has happened earlier as well that you will get the you will get the second round mail by slot okay so just wait few days like for 14 days or for one month after that you may receive the mail okay so after one month only you can say that this is the finalized mail okay so please wait now let me discuss about the latest questions latest coding questions hey you ready for the future attack no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more We'll get you ready, open up that door. So the question is shown to you. Now you are given a string S consisting of lowercase English letters and digits. Your task is to count the number of numerical substrings that is contiguous digits in the string such that the character immediately before the numerical substring is a lowercase alphabet and the character immediately after the numerical substring is also a lowercase alphabet. Return the count of such uh, valid numerical substrings. So you have to return that. So what is the sample input output? Let me just show that. So A123 then B, then B9C, then C88D and D1E. So there are total four substrings in such that where it's starting with a small uh, small case character lower case character and in this there is one digit or there can be several digits okay so i hope you understood so that's why total four substrings are there which uh, in which all the uh, like conditions are matching so that's why output is 4 now let me give you one more example let's say a 1 2 3 b 2 c 3 4 d so if this is the string then how many substrings are there in which uh, the substrings containing small case characters uh, with the end and start and also containing numeric characters okay so a 1 2 3 b is one then b to c is second one and third one is c three four okay and then then c three four d sorry c three four d is the third one okay so these threes are the total substrings which can be possible according to the condition that is uh, the character immediately before the numerical substring is a lowercase alphabet and the character immediately after the numerical substring is also a lowercase alphabet so this is what the conditions so you have to match that so total three substrings are there so that's why in this case output should be three only okay i hope you understood so let me go to the uh explanation on how to solve this problem and what should be our approach to the solutions so if you guys can solve the problem by yourself then please give the answer in the comment section i love it and if you cannot then watch till the end okay before that guys please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and most probably please watch the virtusa placement uh, related playlist and also if you want mindra related ascent chart tech mindra all the list are available please watch those and please subscribe and share this content okay so let me give you the approach to the solution so, so let's say this is the string c4t 
5c okay so let's say this is the string okay now at first what you have to do is run a while loop or a for loop then go through all the element of that array and check if the first element is digit or not okay if this is digit then ignore that if this is not a digit then initialize the start element is equal to i start variable is equal to i and check using a while loop how many how many substrings are there in which first case uh, like first character and the last characters in between there is uh, numeric characters are there so how many substrings are there okay so you have to count that using while loop and then at the end of the while loop you have to return the count okay return the count i hope you understood so let me show you the solution so that it will be easier to understand okay so guys before i show you the solutions i want you to recommend the prime materials of virtusa where you will get the real time questions and real time answers as well all the compiled code are there so as you can see the questions are like materials is updated up to 9th july exam so please have this material here we have included the technical questions interview questions coding questions and also uh, quants questions as well so please have that power coding their interview preparation everything so for you only please visit that and have the materials grab the opportunity to crack virtuous exam okay and as you can see guys we are 0.1 percent performer in top mate so pupils are believing me believing us so as you can see here the feedbacks of students so you can have that okay so let me go to the answers so here at first let me go let me start from the main function so at first let me start with the scanner class because we need to take the input okay and you don't need to write the full code you just need to write the logic okay so main function will be written for you so uh, let me just take input from my side uh, like string s is equal to sc dot next line taking a string input okay then just printing whatever this function is returning okay count valid numerical substring s this is taking one argument that is a string okay so uh, let me go to the implementation of the function so at first import this package so that we can use the scanner class and then it should be stating method because inside the main function we don't need to uh like initialize the object of this class so that we can access the function directly from the main method okay so now it is returning an integer which is the count okay count of that strings how much strings substrings are there okay so at first we are initializing the count is equal to zero and i the value is equal to zero and also we are initializing the string length okay in 10 is equal to string length okay s dot length now we are going through all the element of that string so how we are going using a while loop while i less than n i uh, i less than n so let's say string is equal to a b c sorry a o oh, oh actually s should be a one two three b two c let's say one d okay so let's say this is the string okay now at first we are checking using the character class this is a class which have which has a inbuilt method is digit to check if that element is a digit or not so how we are fetching the current element of that string so at first a is the first element right so s dot s is a string so string has a inbuilt method char at i is the index i is equal to zero at first so it will return the current element s dot char at i that zeroth index uh, character will be returned here okay that is a okay so here it is a at first so is it is it a digit okay if it is a digit then only it will come inside otherwise it will just uh, increment the count of i here as you can see increment the count i plus plus okay if so it is in like at first it is increased right so i is now one so the value of i is pointing here okay now it is checking if the character is a digit or not so it is now one right so if it is digit yes it is a digit so start is equal to i so start is equal to one at first now it is checking while i less than n so one less than n n means the length of that string okay up to that it is going okay and also checking if the character is digit s dot character i that means up to this element it is going as of now okay that means from a we have skipped okay now we are going up to one to 
b why because here we are checking also if this is a digit or not if this is not a digit if this is not a digit then it will uh, go out of the while loop okay it will go out of the while loop so here it will just return the count of substring okay count of the substring and the ith value will be incremented here okay for this only i hope you understood so uh, then in the end is equal to i minus 1 so i is why it is n is equal to i minus 1 because so when i is pointing to the b when i is pointing to the b here it is false here it is false now it must be uh, here point, pointing to here why because in the next iteration it will start from here right it will start from here so that's why we have to write n is equal to i minus 1 okay so now if start greater than 0 and n plus 1 less than n so here what we are checking if here we are checking if the first character of that substring so here we got the substring right we check that it is a substring so here we are checking if the start value is a uh, is a, a lowercase character or not if the first value is lowercase character and the last value is lowercase character so it is checking that okay so start is equal to it must be greater than zero why because we had skipped the first element okay so that's why we have to check if the start is greater than one is it zero or not okay if so it must be greater than zero and n plus one should be less than n okay because the length should be uh, greater okay so n plus one should be less than n and then we have to check if the lowercase character uh, present or not in the first element and also you have to check if the uh, last element is the lowercase character or not so we will increase the count okay if the if this is matching with our conditions then then it will increase the count okay and same way it will keep increasing the count and it will keep increasing uh, the ith value here according to the conditions matching okay so guys i hope you understood up to this so let me just go to the next lines I mean just after the for loop in the same way it will return the count and let me just uh, uh, run it and let's see what it returns so for a123 b for 5c 5d so for this the output should be 3 okay and let me run it for another sample input so that will be let's say a3 b4 c 6 7 d r e okay so 1 2 3 4 total 4 uh, like uh, substrings are there where the case is matching okay so let me just enter sorry sorry actually i had to put uh count i mean one digit here but i forgot sorry so actually i have to run it again so a2 d3 s4 f4 r so here it should be 4 okay so as you can see the output is 4 I hope you understood guys so actually this type of questions will be asked and the questions are not all easy but moderate level so if you want guys all the coding questions with answers and take immediate action and get the access to premium materials for unlimited time so it will be very much helpful for your upcoming types so these are all available materials just visit topmate.io there we will upload all the videos all the uh, questions okay so i hope you will do so thank you for the session please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends